Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Risk Global Domination. So we're going to play a single player game. Okay, we've got another new free map of the week here, Central America. So let's try that. That's a little bit of a surprise to me. I thought we were only going to get one this week. Alright, so manual placement off, fixed bonus, fog of war, uh, yeah. Alright. So, obviously I have no familiarity with this map because I was completely surprised there that it even existed for me this week because I'm still in the, using the free-to-play version of the game. Alright. Well, it says it was Central America, but it like, seems like there's a lot of the U.S. in here as well. Normally I'd think of Central America as maybe Maybe Mexico, but... Yeah, we're kind of spread all over the place here. This is a little bit disorienting of the uh, all these sort of squished together territories relative to how I'm normally seeing or used to seeing a map of the United States. Alright, so let's look at our regions. We've got South America, Central America, Mexico, uh, the Caribbean Isles, Great Plains, Louisiana, Southern U.S., Northern U.S., Canada, Old Northwest. It's kind of a weird way to phrase that. I would think normally people would maybe call this the Midwest. Um, yeah. So, Canada. All right. Uh, where are we? So we're kind of in Canada a little bit. Yeah, I mean that strikes me as the um, the most fruitful. Because then, you know, once we, well, the problem is the entire all of Canada is like a border here. <laughs> there's no, there's no back line. Um, but the upside is then we would only have one front. Um, yeah, yeah, I think this is what makes the most sense to me. And actually, hold on, we need to check to see. Okay, oh man, these are part of it too. Which I guess I shouldn't be surprised by that because they are part of Canada, but. <laughs> it's a. Uh... You know, I was mostly looking at this stuff over here. Um... Okay, so that's good. And. Let's just do this. Mm. So I had hoped I'd be able to join up together, but I think we'll just stop there. Move these guys back over here and see what happens. Yeah. I mean, you know, I suppose it's it's only fair that uh, you know, certain maps focus on different parts of the world. They, not everything needs to cater to my American preferences, but it's just very weird to see the U.S. kind of in this squished projection. Nettles doing a pretty good job conquering Mexico there.
Uh, I was going to say he's doing a good job in South America, but now he's sort of... I think he's too thin there. Alright, so... Lara here has Louisiana. So let's just double check. So we, yeah, we've got to get... All of these, I think it still makes the most sense to um, go here into Quebec. Wow. All right, well, that's a little better. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're just gonna keep keep going one at a time until we get um, some way to sort of burst. And as long as we can steadily make progress there, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, I think the fact that this part of it is Canada too, I think it's less of the everything is a border problem than I thought it was, but still, it's gonna be rough. Wait, do we have two nettles, or was I mis misidentifying someone earlier? I guess I'll have to. Oh no, okay. I was saying she uh, nettle had all of most of Mexico, and that's true. So I was just misremembering who I had been calling nettle. Hickory looks like he can get South America here. I, if I was him, I would have concentrated on that a bit more, but... Alright, well... She's got a region. Yep. See, that's... This is the problem with trying to conquer stuff, but being spread too thin is people can take it away from you. I'd like to get New Brunswick, but I think the smarter play is to just stop there, and hopefully the two won't be enough to um, attack my backline territory there. Let's see if we've got a trade-in. We do not have a trade-in for next time. Alright, and he's got a region now. Odd choices there. All right, well, that was actually some pretty good maneuvering here. I mean, I personally, I probably would have left a few more over here, but 
he's got both sides defended now. Okay, um, well, we're kind of getting there. Um, not going fast enough for my taste. And we're not going to get a trade in. That's good defense for him. Ah, that I think was a foolish maneuver. He had two regions, but now he left himself open. Well, I mean, he still has them, but. few things I want to do here. Um, one, obviously I want to complete Canada, but I'm looking over here and it's like I'd also like to advance my border just down to Pennsylvania here. <laughs> um, so, I think the smarter play is just complete Canada first if I can. Um, I'll do one attack here. Oh, I forgot I was also going to advance there, but too late now. All right. Hmm. All right, 
Okay, so hopefully Garnet will break up South America. Nope. Yeah, so right now I think Hickory is our um, is likely to be the strongest opponent. That South America thing going on, and no one is contesting him for it. Um, you know, uh, Era Ripley also has this Louisiana thing going on, which is pretty good, but. You know, she's sort of also surrounded by enemies, so it's, I think, going to be harder to hold. But she does have troops. And now she has the, uh, the old, whatever that was, the old Northwest or whatever. Um, okay. Hmm. We also get a trade in. Oh, the cannons. It's not optimal, but it's not terrible either. So, so let's put uh, five over here. One here. So step one, try to get these Ojibwa lands. So I guess this is supposed to be somewhat more um, historical than modern day, because it's talking about all those, you know, the various tribes, uh, rather than, uh, like, modern countries in those regions. All right, well, this was supposed to be more of a sweep. It did not turn out that way. Um... one of these, but I think we have Canada now. Doubt we'll be able to hold it, but that's possible. Well, maybe we'll go this way. No. Seems as she's really trying to do the, the Caribbean plan. So I like that uh, green has been disrupted now. Huh. That was <laughs> attacked in the wrong direction there, I think. 
you know, at least in terms of what would have been advantageous for her. Uh, I'm going to hold off on that, even though it would be really handy right now to have some troops. Um, I think we can just focus on trying to get Canada back for right now. Um, yeah, that's all right. And I'm not going to spend troops going in here. Um, all right. This guy, uh, he, he just traded in cards a minute ago. He gets another one. Ugh. <sighs> Norris Howitzer is very frustrating. All he does is wreck Canada with his cards. Um, we're gonna get there eventually. <laughs> All right, well, Nettle finally has uh, Mexico. Huh. Yeah, it's kind of like somebody needs to stop this guy because I can't do it. And uh, he's getting a lot of armies. And it's like I'm having trouble even consolidating, you know, Canada, so. Don't like that seven. Okay, well that's that's all right. This total lack of momentum is um, its hard to cope with. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to uh, try to just settle there, because we need our troops for defending this ridiculous border, even though I'm tempted to try to to break in and bust up the green. Uh, if we're lucky, uh, someone else will do that for us. Like Norris right here. No, he, Norris is choosing to stop right at the borders. <sighs> Apparently Canada is the only territory he likes to disrupt. <laughs> I 
probably would have risked uh, breaking up South America, but that southern U.S. is pretty strong. regretting not breaking up her regions. Okay, we finally have Canada. And, alright, well we have to do the horse trade-in. So, how are we going to do this? Um... Well, we can break this one up from here, and then go into here, so let's start by improving our border everywhere. I guess I don't need this guy back here. Or maybe I got that on the, the trade-in. Alright, going to Arkansas. That's a pretty good obstacle. Um, all right. Yellow is getting close to being conquered here, so we have to keep an eye on that. Hmm. Yeah, Garnet is not doing so well either. scary. Ow. Well, we need to get Canada back. So I had planned to do something different, but... Uh...
Okay. Well. Like he's just obsessed with breaking up Canada. He's like a uh, some kind of Canadian terrorist or something. It's like I, how is that advantageous for him? It hurts me, obviously, but it's like, what is he getting out of it? It'd be really nice if one of these other players would go after these, like, huge empires rather than just encroaching on me all the time. Anyway, I'm sure my perception there is somewhat biased. <laughs> was nice. He's got one card, but I mean, we have to defeat him anyway, because he screwed up Canada for us. So we might as well do this and see if we can get uh, Canada back. This is a problem, and it's like I can't do anything about it because people just keep screwing up Canada. It's like we need to go on the offensive against the real enemy, but it's like well, we can't do that. <sighs> yeah, it's all this guy's fault. defeated the heroic Canadians and now Nettle is uh, is unchecked.
Hmm. Well, green only has three territories, and she's got three cards. But it's hard to see how we can actually defeat her here. Um... I'm going to try, just because we need something a little bit bold, I think, to change up the dynamic here. This is a step in the right direction. Alright. So I've defeated her. This is good. think about can we actually disrupt Mexico a little bit I think we can if we go through here through Louisiana I think that's more realistic than thinking we can defeat that 12 this turn So we just need to take away her her economic superiority here to give ourselves a fighting chance. Hmm. Of course that requires actually winning the fights. Kind of sucked. Yeah, she still gets a lot of troops because she has so many territories. Garnet, what are you thinking? Conquer anything. Um, yeah, I don't really see anything conquerable, which is a problem because we need the car. I mean, we could get this. All right. Um, so let's put two there. 
kind of not great. Let's just see if we get amazingly lucky here in a couple of rolls. Well, it's working so far. Alright, well that was fantastic. So that was an amazing streak of luck there. I think, uh, you know, I complain when I have bad luck, so I should acknowledge when I have good luck too. And that was that was amazing luck. We had eight, she had twelve, and we won without taking any losses. So pretty good. Garnet, please attack Mexico. Thank you. Plus we have to do a trade-in. Oh, and it's a good trade-in. Uh, we might as well use our non-bonuses. Okay. Well, with this, I think I would like to consolidate this here. Let's put seven there. Even though, you know, purple is not my biggest threat, uh, I think it'll give us a better border. And actually, honestly, can I turn this thing on? It might give us the northern US if we expand it into here. So that wouldn't be bad. Um, and then let's try to just get ourselves a decent border again. And I mean, even this, it's not going to be a sufficient border, but we've got to do what we can here with the troops that we have. Step one, we'll conquer Massachusetts. Hopefully. We 
do that, and that gives us the northern U.S. So that's good. Um, so I'd like to beef this up a bit more, but actually I'd also like to disrupt this region if I can. So I'm going to try one or two attacks here and see what we get. Hopefully that holds, because Nettle has a few problems, so. Hopefully she won't focus on me, or at least not in a way that causes me to lose Canada again. And then I think the second question will be the, uh, the blue guy. South America. Cause some damage. Um, so I think you're gonna put. Well, hold on. No, I thought this would be able to connect to Tennessee, but I don't think it will. I'm going to try to swoop down this way up into Tennessee. So that breaks him up and gives him uh, something to focus on. Um, stack of seven, I'm a little bit alarmed about as well. So let's move in there. We can do all ten. No, we can't. Because the triple is. No.
Hmm. Alright, well this... This plan has stalled out a little bit. So I'll do that and we'll just bring these guys back up here. Still got a lot. And it looks like he's going to take over Tennessee. <laughs> and he's got the Caribbean now. to be careful that I didn't really appreciate that this is a border here. So what I'm thinking is I can go here and actually disrupt him down here. Uh, but we also need to worry about this, so... Let's put four there. This is uh, this is the uh, the counterpoint to that uh, earlier attack. Um. Yeah, I mean the the plan had been I was gonna sweep <laughs> sweep through here and get these other things, but now I can can't even defend this. Side is I guess I can move these guys forward now. So that's good at least. Attack of blue, that would be very convenient. <sighs> He's got Louisiana back. Oh, and he gets a card trade in. Alright, so he's doing some work here. Breaking up orange, that's good for me.
let's put eight here. I mean, we've got so much work to do. Um, I think we need to try to do this original plan here. Um, because we just, him having so many regions, it's, it's not, not going to work for us. Now I suppose I could think about this, that I should just extend this border, right? I don't need to leave troops behind, because this is the only way in. Or I can leave them behind in Haiti, in uh, Haiti, and treat that as my new border, if I can actually win the battle, of course. Central America or South America. They're worth the same. Well. Alright, that was lucky. Send this stack of six down there. And let's see how that goes. He does have this 16 stack, but it's um, it's not on a border, so he can't do anything with it this turn. Although she might go in here. Okay. And I don't think we want to do that. So I think we want to send a few more down there to see if we can go this other direction and, and screw up Central America. Um, I think that's good. Nope, nope, nope. Forgot about this part of the plan.
Okay, so that's good. And then we'll send this guy over here, even though that's not enough. It's as good as we can get. Oh, I don't like that. She's going to attack Canada. No, okay. So just put a big scary stack on my border. Which isn't nearly as bad as attacking me. Hold out for better trade ins. Um, I, think, I think we need to at least harden these a little bit. So much I want to do because I want to break this up in this. Um, well, you know what? I can go in this way. So let's put four here. And the rest there. And we'll start down here so that I can't forget it. Huh. Oops. Oh, man. Uh, I'm trying to click on the dice. I haven't had this problem in a while, I guess. Oh, man. Alright, well, terrible luck there. Yeah, but that problem where I click off the dice and get, you know, exit out of the attack, it hadn't been happening for a while. No. I uh, got back into that mode. Um. Well, and this plan where I was going to sweep across is not going on, but at least now he doesn't get this out here. Um, yeah, that was not a good turn. the border here so it doesn't break through. There, she's got Mexico again. Unfortunately I've kind of cut her off from Central and or from South America so she can't fight blue down here. Fifteen. That's a lot. Now we have to do a trade in. It's this one I've been resisting. Uh, 
Well, I think the only thing that makes sense is, well, actually well, there's a couple of things that make sense here. Let's put four down there. Because this was still a good idea. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, we seem to have a lot more luck up here in the, uh, the northern latitudes. Because that went pretty well for us. And I want to try to weaken this mega stack here a little bit. Unfortunately, it's also weakening my stack. But... This is still the best place to attack, if we can actually get it. Well, I think we need to sort of keep pressing our attack to see if we can get into Tennessee again. Because that's worth three armies there. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, we're a little bit overextended there, but. And we've got a terrible border here, but. Disrupting his territory, I think, was useful. And then Nettles here behind him, so hopefully that's going to cause him some problems on the other front. So I think this is worthwhile. Um, so there are a few things I want to do. One is I, I think I can actually take over this. Um, but then also potentially South America. Because look how weakly defended it is. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Figure seven, and then we'll want to defend it. All right, let's put four here.
well there. So, you know, I remember back in the beginning of the uh, the game, I was saying that he hadn't uh, hadn't invested sufficiently in defending this area, so... So we're turning this opportunistic attack into a... to a uh, mission of conquest. That sucked more than a little bit, um, but now let us do this. didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. Um, I still I still think it makes sense to try to break up Kentucky you now. Yeah. If we keep losing like this, it's not gonna make sense. phone call there. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, let's stop here. And spread some of these troops this direction. I don't know, hoping, hopefully we've weakened him enough that he, he can't break through our weak border here. Yeah, 
is back down to getting only three troops at a time now. Oh, hey, that was nice. Okay. Well, now we're in much better shape. Um, so I think we can continue our conquest of the south here. We might even be able to defeat Blue this turn. So let's, let's put two there. here oh you know what? I should have looked over here first but we'll deal with that problem later So if we swoop through here, we're going to be able to come back around to Florida. So I think that's okay. Although we're going to probably want to leave some troops behind to defend as well. Plus we're going to take some losses along the way. So yeah, completely defeating blue is probably, well, it might be unrealistic. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Well, it's going to be unrealistic if we can never win a die roll against them. Hey, so remember when I had that plan where I was going to sweep through blue and just completely destroy him? Yeah, it's not happening. Uh, so let's just do that. Um... That was kind of a disaster, huh? So this uh, connects to Arkansas. Well, uh, yeah, this is a problem. Twenty two. up his cards. Great. Alright, so we've got a few priorities here. Well, I guess we do want to attack here so we can break up Mexico from the south. And then, it would also be nice to be able to take out blue. We don't have to worry about this up here. So let's, um, let's do that to start with. Okay. 
So step one, we take over Central America. Of course, you've got to get Guatemala to do that. here and this gives us a nice border and obviously we also yeah I'm trying to click on this thing Here is where our attack is going to stall out. Does he have any cards? He's got two cards. So it would be good if we could kill him. It's just going to be really hard to do that. is catching up with us up here. that happened. Uh, yeah, our border is all terrible now. Um, we do need to disrupt this. Well, need to, I don't know, but we would like to disrupt this. Stop there. Oh, 
Ooh. Wow. Okay. All right. So we got amazingly lucky on our defenses. So I can't be too sad that uh, she was the one that, that uh, defeated the blue guy. Um, so and we have 43 troops. So I think we're going to win here. Oh, we have more than 43. We've got 53. Um, Let me just start from here. And I'll turn on Blitz, because I'm pretty sure we've got such an overwhelming numbers advantage that it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to go in the pattern that makes uh, makes sense that so we'll be able to get maximum efficiency. Oops. Was fun um yeah so it was kind of cool uh, you know early on we were struggling a bit uh where we were um you know trying to consolidate canada and we couldn't quite get it done but then we finally did and then we sort of just slowly took over but it was a bit tense at times and that blue guy did create a big problem for us as i foresaw and then also nettle from her mexican empire so uh yeah that was good i think it was a uh, pretty long one again though. Um, but I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you come back next time. Bye.